Okay, so I just wanted to do a quick video here. So this is a 12864 LCD screen. Um, you'll see them on Amazon as the rep rep discount. Um, the PCB on the inside under here behind the cover actually shows rep rep discount. Now this is a clone of the actual rep rep discount display and it works fine. However, whoever designed the boards, when, when they printed the markings on here, they put the connector orientation backwards, meaning that there's a little keyed end on these cables, and it was originally pointing down. Like, it was originally pointing down, so towards the printer. Um, when you first hook the cables up to your RAMS or MKS or whatever other board you're trying to use it with, it will not work. Um, I stumbled across a comment on Amazon saying that the display works, but the connectors are flipped, so I got it, hooked it up, and lo and behold, it didn't work. So I flipped the cables around, and it worked. So let me see here. I have my original LCD screen right here, and I'm just going to use this as an example to show you the connectors. So what I'm talking about are these little guys here, the, the actual black shroud around these pins. And what happens is, because they're backwards, it doesn't power on. Now, it doesn't damage the screen in any way, but it will prevent it from working. So let me just grab a set of needle-nose pliers here and show you. So all you do, and I'm not going to actually pull this one off because this one works, but all you do is just grab it with either needle-nose or smaller pliers. You don't want to bend the pins. If you do, you can bend them back, just be gentle with them, but you're going to grab onto it and pull this connector off. It'll slide off the pins. Um, now on this board you can see these are soldered flat to the board. They're not through. Um, that's why I'm not going to pull this connector off just to show you. Uh, but on the RepRap clones they are through pins so it's going to be really hard to remove them. So all you have to do is pull that connector off rotate it 180 degrees so the tab is towards the top of the screen and then your cables will fit in correctly and the display will work so you can see it's working fine here I can pull up my info here you know I can set my feed rate if I want to um, and then even the buzzer works so I just wanted to put this out there because I'm sure I'm not the only person that's bought the clone version of this display and had issues. So you can see here, if I go to Amazon, and forgive me about the low production value of the videos here, I'm just doing something quick. So I'm going to search for my rep wrap display here in my orders. So here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. So you can see here, this is what they look like. They all look like this. They even say rep rep discount on them. Um, and I was going through here and you know, there's some bad reviews. I even left a review here to help somebody out uh, in case they have the same issue. Someone else mentioned it. So here you see these came broken, sending back. And this guy right here, Broken controller, mine wasn't broken. Discovering that the LCD connectors were soldered upside down. So it's not that they were soldered upside down, it's that whoever printed the board on the back here, you can see where it says EXP1, EXP2, you see the little, the little white piece here. That indicates where the, the keyed connector goes. That should have been printed at the top. So all you're going to do is pull these connectors off slowly you can wiggle them back and forth but they'll slide right off the pins you flip them so this keyed slot is up here and do that for both headers and it works and it's only fifteen dollars so i'll put a link in the description to this one um, this is the one i personally bought i will not post links to stuff that i have not personally purchased um, that's just my policy and i do use amazon affiliate links so i can actually get some revenue from doing these videos because I want to keep doing them for everybody. Um, I do have 
you know, multiple cameras set up here and a good microphone for recording. So I'm going to actually sit down and make higher quality videos once I get my workspace cleaned up and set up better. But I just want to put this out there because I'm sure I'm not the only one that had issues with these clone displays. And I'm sure as long as your display looks like this, it's got the connectors and it looks like this display here. If it's not turning on, meaning if the backlight doesn't come on, the connectors are probably backwards. So flip those around and then give it a shot. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, ask specific questions. I get so many general questions of people asking me to literally post every little thing that goes on on my printer. I honestly don't even remember at this point. Um, it's not even that stock anymore. So thanks for watching and I hope this helps somebody out.